Now, if you've been getting into sharpening, you've probably also been getting into learning how to maintain your stones and keeping them flat. But there's something that's often left out of instructions on main stone maintenance, and that's what we're gonna cover in this video. G'day, welcome to Chestnut Nag. My name's Stuart. This is a little thing that is often forgotten about. People forget to teach you, and those of us who know how to do it, well, we also often forget to do it, which is a little bit annoying. Now, a few videos ago, I was sharpening a hatchet, and I came a bit of a cropper because I'd forgotten to do this maintenance step on one of my stones. It's a very simple thing to do, but after you've finished flattening your stones, you need to check that the edges of the stone have a chamfer. They're not just a straight square edge, there's that actually just that little bit of a chamfer, just a couple of millimeters is all you need. But if you don't have it, then this can happen. Now here's a still of what happened, and as the hatchet head has moved to the edge of the sharpening stone, because it was a square edge, because I hadn't chamfered it, the pressure on the edge of the stone as the blade or the bit of the hatchet has been moving across it has increased to the point that the stone has chipped. Quick note, the chamfer that you can see on this still wasn't there when the chip occurred. I just didn't get a photo of it before I started to fix the problem. And you know, doing this can make your stones look a little bit ragged. It doesn't really affect the performance of them, but it's really also not good technique. Now there's a simple fix. All you gotta do is add the chamfer. And if you're using a diamond plate to flatten your stones, just take the diamond plate and then rub off the corners of the stone. Now if you're using the three stone flattening process, then you take one of the stones and instead of rubbing the faces together, you rub the corner on one of the other faces and that just puts a little chamfer on it. it. Just takes off that sharp corner, which means that as an edge that you're sharpening passes across the edge of the stone, there's that little bit of relief which preserves your edges of the stone and prevents it from chipping. Now this isn't something you have to do every time you flatten your stones. Uh, in fact, it probably, you know, the next time you flatten stones, you might not have to do it all the time after that, all the time after that, all the time after that. But this is why it's very easy to forget to do it because you just get into the habit of dressing your stones and not restoring or maintaining the chamfer, which is why people like me, well, we often forget to do it. Hope this is useful for you. If it is, and if you wanna see more stuff like it, then you can hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll get notified when we put stuff out. And coming up on the channel, uh, that hatchet that I was telling you about that I just sharpened, well, I mean, I've already started the process of making the handle for it and the video for that will be coming out soon. Oh, and also I had two more boxes of tools from Japan arrive and I'm gonna be doing the unboxing video for those real soon. Catch you guys later, bye-bye.